Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I made a video to, uh, on YouTube, but my last couple of videos I've been talking about the Air Force basic military training. Today I'm just going to change a little course, and I'm still going to talk about the Air Force of course, but I'm going to go today about technical school, which or short-term tech school. So tech school is going to be after basic military training, and depending, it'll depend on your, what your AFSC is or what your job is, is what location, what school you're going to go to. So it can range, there's a lot of tech schools all over the United States and everything. It can be from California to Texas, Washington State, and Florida, some in the South, some in the Northeast, and all that. So it's just real depending on where you, what your job is. So I'm gonna use my what my AFSC is, which is Traffic Management Officer, or what a lot of people know as TMO, as an example to sh show. So TMO, our tech school used to be in Texas, Lackland, Air Force Base, but it got changed a couple years ago, and now it's at Fort Lee in Virginia. So this is what something else I wanted to point out. Fort Lee is an Army base, but it's run by it's run by the Army, of course. But there's different branches of the Air Force, Navy, Marines. They're all there because there's their tech schools are there too as well. They may there that may be called something else, but overall, it's war school that goes there. So today I'm just going to talk about the difference about what that transition is from Air Force basic military training to tech school, like what's the small difference? It's going to be an overall, overall review of it, and if you guys have specific things you want to know about, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer it. So first of all, the biggest difference I believe is, I wouldn't say lax or leisure, but I think the overall environment of tech school is a little different, for, is different from Air Force basic military training. I wouldn't say it's not strict or anything, but it's not as stingy or as you know set in stone they're not going to be on you 24 7 like basic military training you're not going to be in a set schedule besides on the weekdays when you have to go class and everything compared to air force basic military training. you're going to have more a little more freedom you're going to be acting you're going to be able to you know do your own thing at times when you have free time and all that so you go there pretty much air force uh, air force tech school to learn your job and everything you're there to a course depending on what your job is you're going to learn how to do the, the different aspects of your overall how, some hands-on training that's that's one of the points and this overall a continuation of the air force of how to build you up as an airman and everything so tmo was in fort lee like i said the way our dorms were built is we shared it with the navy but we had uh, it's hard to estimate take maybe your dorm room in the basic military training that was maybe half of that or a little more than half is what a dorm room at tech school was and you shared it, shared it with one other person in that room there was two beds uh, single ones and then there's a refrigerator where you can put food freezer of course and then you shared a latrine a bathroom shower and toilet and then a, was it sink and all that two wall closets where you could put stuff in and all that so there is something you, you eat. actually i'm mistaken you each get sync too on your own so you, one person had that with a mirror and the other person you shared it so you can share it with someone else they could have a different job fort lee had for the air force we had tmo their air transit services so there tech school is it's a monday through friday is a your regular schedule you can go classes in the morning you have pt I know other tech schools, they have PT at night at Fort Lee. We had in the morning, 0445 until about maybe 530, almost 6. And then we marched out about 645 and everything, or 7, if I'm not mistaken. But PT, we did there and everything. It ranged again. We did some runs, aerobics on one day, and then we switched off to muscle training and all that. So we did that. And class was about until 1600. We break from about... 11 to 12 for lunch so overall you're you're pretty much in school a majority of the day and that runs from monday to friday but weekends they're on their you you know you should be studying after school and even during the weekends for tests and everything for in your courses but again like you said you're not going to have always tests and everything you can still be enjoying tech school i mean life you can go and do stuff so there's two transition periods, ITP, initial transition period, and ATP, advanced transition period. ITP is when you come in there and you're still pretty much on a restricted freedom, and pretty much, I could say. So ITP is you're going to be in there, your hours, I believe, 
it's been a while, it's like two or three years, but if I'm not mistaken, is you're gonna have a curfew until about on weekdays, I believe it's 2200, you have to be in the dorms, you don't have to be sleeping in your room, but it's 2200. And then sat on the weekends, it's midnight, you have to be inside. And then also, you can't wait outside of your dorms, be in civilian clothes, you have to, even after work, I mean, at classes, you have to either be in your ABUs or PT gear, you have to keep be in one or the other, so keep that in mind as well. Also, you, what is it, the word? I think that you can't go off base, of course, and keep that in mind. And then you're on there. The way to pass it is there are still dorm inspections. So get to get from ITT to ATP, you have to pass dorm inspection, room inspection, I'm sorry, room inspections. So you and your roommate have to work together, make sure your rooms are ready. They're not uh, strict on inspections of your rooms. Like, you know, just keep the toilet clean, the shower clean, your sink and your mirror, your bed made. And you have to put these things, uh, what's it called? 341s, 341s on your, on the on your bed after you make it and everything and just dust everywhere uh, clean your refrigerator you know make sure there's no garbage and anything and if your wall locker is locked they can't open it so keep that in mind if it's unlocked it's free game and it's a security violate violation just like that. you had that small wall locker in basic military training if that was open you fail automatically you actually get in trouble like that for that same reason it's like a secure violation you're doing you're laying valuables open and everything so keep that in mind, but again, it's less strict as Air Force basic military. I've had I've heard stories of people saying it's a little, like depending on the MTL. MTLs are military training leaders. There's uh, they're on correlation the same as an MTI. They have a blue rope around their uniform and everything, their shoulder usually, and they're just there to make sure you're you're keeping in the standards of the Air Force. You're not going crazy. And you know they're keeping standards there, like making sure your uniform's good, your rooms are good, you're marching, you know what you're doing, you're not going crazy. <laughs> but that's something to keep in mind as well. So if you pass two of the room inspections, and is this is what you're gonna learn in basic open ranks, if you pass one of those where they check your uniform, you're clean shaven, you got your hair cut, and everything, your uniform's on spot on point, no strings, no nothing, then you can get move up to the next transition period, which is. ATP. ATP is the advanced transition period and this is where it goes. You have more freedom. Your hours are more extended on weekdays. I think you can stay out till midnight. You don't have to be in the dorms. And on weekends, you can stay out to 0200 if I'm not mistaken. And then you can go anywhere off base you want as long as it's within I believe two hours if I'm not mistaken. And then also you can, what's it called? Just go off base, really, and then you can walk around civilian clothes. That's which was just great, even at, like at, as long as after work, after classes, and after on the weekends as well. So that's a good thing. So it's a lot of freedom compared to there. Like you don't have MTIs, MTLs like yelling at you constantly and everything. They're just there to continue that transition from basic to tech school. And they're just going to continue motivate you, continue remind you of the things of how to conduct yourself as an in professional manner. You should, you're still going to be reporting them, but it's not as like you don't have to use a reporting statement. You can simply knock, state your name, and they go at parade, parade rest, and everything, and just show your sign of respect and everything. It's such a big difference between basic military and training tech school. Ours, I know people they ship their TVs, their games there. TMO, our tech school is about only eight weeks. I stayed there about for two and a half months. So it's real quick. Uh, Air Chance and services we share, tech school was in the same area as us, same base, I mean. And they were the, theirs was six weeks. So it wasn't worth it, in my opinion, to bring all that stuff. You were going to pretty much go in and out and all that. The same works for their look as school. It's like, it's like a classroom setting. You know, you're learning. You're going to take a test on that stuff. It's pretty much you for you to make sure you're studying and getting ready. Ask questions to the instructor if you don't get something. So it's you can look at it as like college life a little bit if you want to compare something similar to it. And it's you're going to school, you're you have your you have classes, but after classes and on the weekends you're free. You can study and everything, but you can go out enjoy yourself as well, make new friends and everything. There's no alcohol of course in there. Same, no drugs or anything. Don't be doing that stuff. But 
compare to it, you're not on a tight schedule. You can be sleep. You can sleep in on the weekends. You can sleep, uh, sleep, go to gym when you want to. Of course, you're going to be walking. Other people ship their cars for like the year longs. But overall, it's such a big transition. Uh, the biggest thing is continue to be that professional airman, follow the rules, and just take what you've learned from basic military training and continue that to evolve. But, you know, it's more lax a little bit. It's not as restraining. It's not as stingy. It's not as strict of, hey, you need to follow this, this, and this. It's not like that. You're going to be able to think and be able to act in your own mindset, be a little more creative, I would say, and do things and compared to that. And, you know, just do all this stuff. You can go in the commissary, BX there. Each base has one. Buy the food you want, buy the games and stuff, buy books and stuff, uh, videos and all that, and do, you know, do what you want to do. And it's just something amazing. Truthfully, it is it's such a good, amazing transition from what you're expecting to that and all that. So, room inspection. I just hit the basics overview of tech school. Some tech schools are real long. Some I heard like a year, a couple months and all that. And it's just, it's crazy. But overall, TMOs, like I said, was short. It was sweet. Yeah, I learned, I met some great friends who I still keep in contact with, great fellow people. And... Uh, if you guys have any questions, I know it's simple. Like the biggest things I'm gonna hit it is that transition period from ITP ATP. You're still gonna have dorm room inspections. Keep that in mind. You're going to go chow hall. So there's a chow hall. You're gonna eat three meals a day. They provide you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. After you go into uh, what's it called ATP, you don't have to go to the mandatory breakfast and lunch dinner. You have to still go to lunch because that's where everyone's gonna eat. On weekends, you don't have to go there. You know, you can go eat out on base or off base. Yeah, it depends, but, you know, they're going to still be taking that money. Might as well, you know, you said, in my opinion. But like, it's up to you. You're going to be seeing different branches, Army, Navy. Navy, you share uh, in TMO. We shared it in Fort Lee with the Navy group. So just keep that in mind. You're going to see different branches. You're going to see it's a real iron opener, especially if you're on an Army base. And then when you go into the operational Air Force, you're going to see the big difference of how each branch lives and everything, Air Force compared to the rest of the military branches. So keep that in mind. Mind if you see an officer, no matter the branch, salute them. They are still an officer, no matter what. It's just weird because that's another story. But overall, that's I just gave you the quick overview about Air Force Tech School. I might. It's been a while since I've been in, but I think that I know. I have a feeling that all this information is still accurate. Some of them have changed, some new ones might apply, but from what I know, a majority of this is still happening and all that. So if you do have any questions, and or if you guys just want to know a little more, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, ask something specific if you want, and I'd be more than happy to make a video about that, so keep that in mind. But overall, I'm very excited about making something different. Air Force-wise video, I hope it's something that can help others out there who are thinking of joining the Air Force or who made that has really passed BMT, but they're still going, they're going to tech school and just really, you know, make it less stressful and answer some of your questions. So if you like this video, like it, share with people. I hope these videos are doing great. And I have some past videos if you want to share them as well about the Air Force, based BMT. And then if you think I'm doing a great job, please subscribe. The support is would be amazing. So I'm out. I'm going to try to make more content as more as possible so I can continue to spread my experiences and some knowledge I have about the Air Force. All right, you guys, have a great day.